And as we've shown you all week, the each way bet of many of people who thought when there was political advantage in bashing the federal government and saying we must close the borders, but then of course the public mood apparently changed, despite the fact that polling has consistently shown us that Australians are fine with this particular uh, method. Australians at the state level have reinforced that they like the panic of the premiers, regardless of whether it is appropriate or not. So they can scream as much as they want. But have a look at this for stone-cold COVID hypocrisy. Queen Palaszczuk, when she thought that the political advantage was to, say, ban people from India. So I wrote to the Prime Minister at the end of last week calling for a temporary suspension of flights coming in from India. We've got a couple of direct flights due into Brisbane the next couple of weeks. And I think everyone understands that uh, although this is a, a tough measure, it's actually a necessary measure. But now the official position from the Labor Party is that would be a bad thing. So this was the Premier's position today. The international borders are the responsibility of the federal government. Um, that is pure and simple. Once again, these are issues for the federal government. So now she enters the uh, bet both ways, the each way Hall of Fame, which of course is led by the alternative Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, who said one thing and then the exact opposite. Uh, what's important is uh, identified by uh, the, uh, the question. Uh, which is that uh, we deal with things not on a political partisan basis, but on the basis of, of a responsible, uh, res a responsible uh, action based upon medical advice. What we've had is a policy of locked out or locked up by this Prime Minister, and now he's seeking to blame anyone else but himself for the locked out policy. And remember, the previous alternative Prime Minister, the one who would like to be the alternative Prime Minister again, when presumably Albo, Tanya and everyone else fails in the Labor Party, and eventually he can be um, Howard 2.0, Lazarus rising from the political ashes, here's a bet each way bill. It is well past time to shut our borders to flights from India. I think it is disgusting that Australian citizens can't come home. Now, I like to call him both ways Bill. It's also both ways Bant. Here's the Greens leader having it each way. Is it really, is really now the time you want to be saying, um, open up the borders? Do you want to have a Victorian style situation mm. in your state? The ban is racist. It's possibly illegal. Uh, it's not supported by the medical advice. <laughs> These people. Normal Australian people understand what all this is about. Yes, we understand the inconvenience for those that it is involved with, but you've seen the reaction to just a couple of cases in places like New South Wales where dancing and masks and Mother's Day. You've seen what happens when one case leaves hotel quarantine in Perth or Brisbane or Melbourne. Australia has made it very clear how we feel about this stuff. Rightly or wrongly, people love zero cases.